Alright then boys and girls, I've had two very special deliveries today. Both from uh, the wonderful company that is Wahoo. Um, now, to give you a little bit of backstory on this because I don't want to come across as somebody who like some guy on the internet has just been sent these products by Wahoo and I've just been told to like show them to you and get you to buy them. That's not it at all. Take you back a couple of years, at least six years ago, five, six years ago, the team I was racing with all the time, I'd been using Garmin ever since I started cycling, Garmin by computers. Started using Wahoo then, and I was like, what? What is this? These are like, how are these so good? Uh, long story short, the Element Bolt that I've been using, like, ever since you've been following this YouTube channel, quite frankly, I've had for five or six years. And it's finally, I don't blame it, been used every single day on its last legs and I needed a replacement. The battery is just, it is struggling to hold its battery. I mean, it's good for about an hour. So I mean, I could use it for hill climbs and crits and I don't have a direct relationship with Wahoo, but I do have a great relationship with Tim and the people over at Cycling Hub who are very, very good friends and business associates with Wahoo. So I reached out, would it be any chance of me getting the new Rome? And they've sent one out to me. So I'm gonna be using this today. This is gonna be my first time using it. Now, the reason why I bring this up is because I don't wanna come across, like I said, as somebody who's just been sent these free things. And I'm like, hey, look at all this stuff. Like, no, like if there's anything you wanna know about these products, I will do my very best to be as open and transparent as possible around these. Second thing, I didn't know whether or not I'd be able to mention it, but I can because this video is going out like a day or two after the release of this new product, the new Speedplay pedals. I'm gonna give an actual review of these as and when I fit them to my new cycling shoes, which I'm getting in a couple of weeks, hopefully. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use these. Uh, I, I reached out to the guys at Cycling Hub again, and I said, look, I wanna really build a, a really top spec hill climb bike. I'd love to go back to Speedplay pedals. And obviously knowing that Wahoo had acquired Speedplay, would it be possible to get hold of the new pedals when they release? When I use Speedplay, I've used Speedplay in the past, I've used a fair range of pedals. When I use Speedplay, I absolutely love them. Why did I move away from them? I can't really tell you, to be honest, because when I moved away from them, we had uh, sponsor deals to to uphold uh, on teams, so that becomes a bit of a problem. But to me, it's about the simplicity of the pedal, it's about how it looks, it's about how it functions, it's about the little things, but it's also about like this, this goal I have of like me being the best I can be. I need, like, in my opinion, the best equipment to do that. A lot of people, there was a lot of hype on social media, I was following it in the build up to this day, knowing they were gonna be released, were asking, surely it's gotta be a power meter pedal. Surely, 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 it's Wahoo, it's gotta be. And it's not, but it is coming. I mean, I gotta be honest, like, if I could have, can you imagine having a really light, double, dual-sided, pedal based power meter that will go towards an ultimate hill climb bike. That would just be the dream. That would just be, that would just complete, my life would be complete. Wahoo, speed play, no pressure. <laughs> so there we have it. I'm not gonna talk about it too much, although I already have. Uh, I appreciate everything you do. Love the brand Wahoo, Cycling Hub, Tim, thank you for getting these over to me. I really appreciate it and uh, definitely going to push them to their absolute limit. You can guarantee that. Okay, enough of that. I hope you enjoyed that little segment though. It's very exciting. Um, you know the story. Let's go and do some bike riding. Ah, just getting on the cycle path now, so I'm about 15 minutes away from my target destination. But I'm gonna start my big old effort. I'm gonna use the 15 mile time trial circuit, which is, uh, well, it's kind of half flat, half undulating, but it should be perfect for the effort.
Oh dearie me, I'm sweating one out now. First time this year that the long sleeve has been open. Just climbing the mountain road to the top of Pembrey. 15th circuit was good, although crikey it was windy. Note to self, if I'm looking back on this. So that was my first attempt at doing, actually, look at this view. What a cracking view. Unfortunately, I've now got to keep going up here. So yeah, um, that's my first time attempting the really long FTP test outside. And the wind was quite strong, so I ended up kind of uh, fighting the wind on the way out. And then, oh my word, I must have been doing about 55k an hour in the tailwind, which you may think is cool, but my word, it makes it hard to get the power out. So I was obviously trying to keep to the uh, prescribed power, which is, goes up in steps. And it's really hard. The 15 minute section in the middle is the hardest, I think, because you're riding at 100% uh, of FTP. And then uh, from there, you start to ramp, but the ramps are fine, I think, because you're already in that state of like, just gonna empty the tank, but, that bit before, where you're riding bang on FTP, you've got time to think and I don't like that. <laughs> but we'll take a look at it when I get back home. Uh, so I don't know the result of it. I felt good and I managed, I think, to get to a higher ramp than last time, which considering obviously this time I'm riding to a new FTP, the FTP I set using the same test, and I've got to a higher ramp, you'd think that that's an improvement. <laughs> say this before I check on my results but do you know I feel good and doesn't matter what you know if if I've had a really good legs day and I've completed the session and I'm absolutely flying good job Merry Christmas if I haven't completed it well or if my legs aren't there and I don't hit the numbers so what get over yourself if you have a good session Merry Christmas enjoy it but so what? Move on to the next one. If you have a bad session, get over yourself. So what? Move on to the next session. It's just a process. It's just a process. Okay, the results are in and they're interesting. They're interesting. Let's give it a bit of context. So on the 24th of February, which was uh, about four days before the Hort route on Zwift, I did my first ever attempt at this sort of FTP test. And the results of that test were 336 watts average. Um, I averaged 169 beats a minute. I maxed out at like 185, 183 beats a minute. That was indoors on the turbo and uh, 36 minutes and nine seconds was my time to exhaustion. So I'm gonna have to put all this on the screen so that we don't get confused. But basically a couple of days after that, I did the Hort route. I actually surpassed that mark. Uh, I did 35.46, so it was only like 30 seconds shy of basically that FTP test that I did a couple of days prior, but I did 353 watts um, with an average heart rate of 167. And that was pretty much like full gas. Um, it was paced to finish harder than I started, 
but that was pretty much full gas. Now today, today my time to exhaustion was 36 minutes and 40 seconds. So again, it's all around that same ballpark, like the, the probably like 20 seconds. This one, obviously I did it outside. I averaged 350 and in the whole route I averaged 353. Um, but my average heart rate was 160 and my max was 180 and in the hot route my average was 167 and my max was 182. The efforts are somewhat similar, the only difference being one being outside, different power meters um, and like today the wind was like horrendous, trying to like pace myself and measure the effort and stick to the wattage was quite difficult outside. It's the first time I've done an effort of that length outside for over half a year. So it's tricky to get my head around. I'm going to leave it at 350 even though my effort today was two watts less. There was a couple of moments today where I had to freewheel for a junction. So again, you, you have to look at it with perspective rather than you dwelling on it and saying, oh, my FTP is lower. There is a chance though that because I'm so used to doing the 20 minute FTP test, I'm going to start to include that a little bit more in my training now, every four weeks or so, around about the same time that I do this, not too close together, but basically to to give myself that that range because I'm I'm coming out of this with a really good 20 minute power number at the end of you know the 36 minute effort but I know that obviously if I was doing a 20 minute effort it would be higher and the 20 minute goal for me this year is still that elusive 7 watt per kilo or as close as I can get to 7 watt per kilo so that's still a goal so hence why I'm still keeping in mind to do these 20 minute tests as well not just rely on these like longer you know go into exhaustion but yeah this is good like what we've learned today is good because it's going to it's going to help point me in the right direction now for the next couple of weeks as i go into my next phase and so onwards and upwards